Facebook fans. English version in the house. What do we got today? We have a featured bike. Pretty unknown. I've built this one, I guess, oh, five, six years ago. And the idea was for this bike to make it look original from one meter distance. What we've done is we tried to imitate the purple color, the original purple color from the 70s, but with a twist. And the twist, I hope you can already see it. This is all metal flake, boys, with six or seven layers of clear coat. So, very nice looking. Also, look at the mud guards. Original silver, yeah, but not like original at all. Also, a lot of metal flakes in it, and again, five, six, seven layers of clear coat, buffed afterwards, and well, look at it, boys, in the sun, amazing. Okay, what do we see when we come closer? If we come closer, we'll see that here is a water cooling cylinder head and a radiator. Hey, that's pretty unusual, isn't it? Well. This is a part not from Pug, it's from a Yamaha FS1. Pretty common bike here in the 80s, from the 70s on till late 80s. But they had made what a cooling head. Well, nice is that the distance here is the same as with a Pug. You only need to modify a little bit. This was a 60cc head, this is a 50cc cylinder. Well, so we machined the head to 38 millimeters and we thought we build it on our pool. Well, looks the best. Only problem, airflow. This head is closed. Of course, this head, the principle of this head is warm water rises, cool water goes down. Well, so it gets its cooling. But the cylinder gets less cooling because this is of course closed and a Yamaha FS1 has the cylinder on 45 degrees angle, so there will be airflow on the head, but also on the cylinder. Well, Pug, of course, it's in line, so a little bit less cooling, but we all know the head is the hottest part of the engine. Uh, battery is changed? Yes? Okay, <laughs> we had an empty battery. Okay, no problem. Okay, let's move on, boys. Um, we haven't got all day. What we did is uh, some original parts I have re -chromed. Because this Maxi was in pretty decent shape. So we had re uh, the handlebars, but uh, we also have them in the shop, of course. But at that moment, there were two parts not in the shop. They were sold out. <laughs> the handlebars and the, uh, oh, how do you say this? Uh, swing uh, poter. <sighs> Help me, boys. Front forks. Right? Front forks? Front forks. Yeah, we are here with a whole production team today. It's brand new. Maybe we can show. Five, six years ago, we didn't have the Polini brake pads. Well, and I thought to myself, well, uh, we're going to make a, a Maxi N with a twist. Let's build in a Chrysler oh, front, front hub. Hub is the correct word. Uh, a hub. Well, the Klein tuning, our real home tuner, has made it a little bit racy, eh? drilled the, the holes in it, made this, this, this air hole a little bit bigger. Um, we had to make custom spokes with the original rims. Well, original, uh, of course they are from our shop, but they are almost 100% like original, so great product. And well, that's twist number two. You see, and it breaks real good. It's really breaking like hell, and, uh, but only with this big problem. Other things, boys, other from the paint, uh, the hub, the water cooling, is the saddle. We made it with a little twist, but I don't like it that much. It's, it's a little bit too wide here. It should be like this. Maybe in the future we will change it. We have made the Pugshop Pende A embroidered in it. It looks the best. All original handlebars and the 
how you say, brake levers, it's all original. Original. Klaverbladbel. Uh, Daisy? I don't know. Klaverblad. We'll show you, and then you can talk to me <laughs> in the comments or write an email at info at pusher.de. Boys, I guess we're done. The only problem is, oh, I forgot something. Oh, I forgot something. I need my cameraman right here. What I forgot is really, really, really important. Boys, of course, this is a Maxi N and a Maxi N uh, from 72, 73. I don't know the exact, exact building year. Has this engine with the dividable engine, of course, but without the clutch cover. Well, this is a fast setup. We have a 50 millimeter Bing. We have a 50 cc uh, cylinder. It's not tuned, the exhaust is pretty original, but it runs 55, about 55 kilometers an hour. The problem is, when you want to adjust the clutch in this, uh, in this engines, um, you need to split the engine again, and again make the adjustment to the clutch, build it back, you need new simmerings, you need new oil, you need new uh, gasket sealing, sealant. Um, well, it's a pretty shy job, no? Well, what I've done with this clutch, I have tested it with this cylinder, this exhaust and this, this, this whole setup, only not, of course, this head, it was the original head was on it. The problem you can tackle by adjusting the clutch in another engine. Well, but I don't have another engine, yeah, yeah. Well, when you have this engine, you must make sure you have another engine with the separate clutch cover. So you can adjust the clutch on your other engine, then build it in this one, put it together, and drive away and your whole setup is okay then your jet is okay your 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 everything is okay the gaskets are okay and most important your clutch is okay boys ah, also nice this is newly ground it's the original one from the netherlands i don't know if they are the same abroad but this is original netherlands i think these are so beautiful it's almost a piece of art and i re them i didn't put a new one in i don't have much to tell about this Maxi N, except from uh, ORD. I hope uh, you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the idea. Nah? From one meter distance, looking original, look close, and you see the real differences. If there are any questions or comments, put them in the comments below, or write an email at info at pushow.da.da, as you wish. And um, we'll see each other next time. Don't forget to subscribe. Push the button. Till next time. Bye.